So, let's get this out of the way first of all. I'm not a streamer and I don't plan on streaming either. But I've heard that this little fella can be useful for a whole lot more than just streaming. So the Algato Extreme Deck. I'm hoping that this video can be a little bit more insightful than some other videos out there for one main reason really. I don't stream. So hopefully I can use that as an advantage to show you some cool things that you can do with this even if you're not a content creator or a streamer. And let me tell you, after having it just set up for a few hours, this is an absolute game changer. So do me a favour, make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm. If you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. Enough of that YouTube shit. Let's get it unboxed, set up and take a look at it. So the build quality, super quickly because I know you've seen this a million times before. So the Stream Deck itself and the stand are both plastic. The Stream Deck is made out of a nicer plastic, it's like a matte black finish with the Elgato Stream Deck logo on the top. It doesn't seem to leave fingerprints on it which is great. But the stand is a little bit flimsy, it feels really cheap to be honest but it doesn't really matter that much because you sort of set it and forget it, you're not playing around with it that much. We do get 8 different levels of elevation with the stand because of 2 different sets of flip out feet, a tall set and a small set. Or I guess there's 9 different levels of elevation if you opt not to use the stand at all. There's obviously 15 keys on the front which actually the nicer to press than I imagined. I thought they'd be all squishy and feel weird, but the nicer to press, the nice and tactile to press. They do wobble in place a little bit and the buttons on the outside are firmer to press in than the buttons on the middle. All of the buttons have an LCD display behind them which is kind of the main thing about it so we'll get into that a bit later on. So the cable on this thing is a little bit disappointing. It's non-detachable, it's all plastic not braided, it's USB A 2.0 and the length of it it just doesn't really cut it. I couldn't reach the cable from here to get to my PC, I need to use a USB extender. So it's just, the cable all around is not great. One other thing I guess you could notice is the box that it came in was small, it's all cardboard and there was no plastic wrapping around the stream deck. So it can all be recycled, which is great to save the planet and all of that. Setup was pretty easy, it's pretty much plug and play. You do have to download the Elgato stream deck software, which will be running in the background while you're using this. I did try and monitor how intensive it would be on your system to have this running in the background, but it really didn't seem to change anything, so that's great. As a side note, this runs on both Mac and Windows. So a few questions you might have about this. What is it? What's it all about? And why would you buy it? So it's basically a fancy macro pad. And when I say fancy, I mean fancy. If you didn't already know, you can get the exact same functionality from the Elgato software app. You can do everything you can do on the Stream Deck on your phone. And it's like two dollars a month or something you can do everything exactly the same you just use your phone instead of the stream deck so that's a great option if you're on a budget or you're just starting out so think about that before dropping the 135 pound on the stream deck there's also a smaller and a larger option there's a 6 key option available and there's a 32 key option available so basically the whole point of this thing is you set macros so you can set it to do pretty much anything really so you can set it to open games applications you can set it to do hotkeys and it's got a little LCD screen display behind it which you can set to a GIF so you can get things to move on it or you can just set it to a picture and then you basically you push that button and it does whatever you tell it to so if I tell it to open card it'll open card or I've set a macro to mute on discord so I can mute yourself so it's not just for streaming you can use it to open games you can use it to open applications you can use it for hotkeys for applications you can do so much with it let me show you how easy it is to set up a macro on this so I'm going to show you as an example of how to set up a macro using the Stream Deck. I'm going to be setting up a macro to open up Chrome and I'm going to use a GIF as the picture on the Stream Deck. It's super simple to do, but you can really get as complex as you like with it. So this is the Stream Deck software and you can see the ones that I've already set up in the middle. And on the right side here, you can see the different options available to us to set up as macros. So everyone will have these things on the right when you download the software, apart from the bottom three. I've added them afterwards. You can see in the very bottom right, there's a more actions button. So if we click that, 
I'll drag this up here. These are all the different things you can install to the Stream Deck software. So there's, there's literally hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of different things that you can implement to, to your Stream Deck. So there's so many different things you can do. So for us to set up our macro to open up Chrome, we're going to want to come to the system tab on the right side here and come down to open. Drag that over to where we want it. Click on the three dots here next to app and file. And you're going to want to locate where your program is. So for me, I'll go to where I've installed Google Chrome. So the application, and that's right there. So you can see by default, it's come up with this. It's got the text over it, which you can choose to remove if you want. So I'll choose to remove it. And then it's also give us a logo. Some things give you the logo, some things don't. For me, I've got a custom logo, which I'm going to be adding in. So I'm going to come to this little arrow here. And you can see how quickly it's added to the Stream Deck. It's almost instant. So I'll come to this little arrow here, select from file, and go to where I've downloaded my GIF. So I've got this one here. So it's pretty much just that easy. You can literally do that with anything. So you've got all these, all of these options here to open a program or an application. It's literally that simple. So one of the main questions for this is who is it for? Who is this thing for? Well, obviously streamers, it says it on the front. And if you are a streamer and you've got some other Elgato software, the Elgato ecosystem is amazing. It all works so well together. So if you've got a Wave 3 microphone or you've got some key lights, they all work so well together and you can control them all from the stream deck itself. But like I said, I'm not a streamer and I haven't picked this up to start streaming or anything. So what am I using it for? Well, for me, I've got it to open some games. I've got it to open all the applications which I use on a daily basis. I've got it like YouTube. I've got it to open the editing software. I've got it to take screenshots of stuff. I've got it to record gameplay. You can pretty much set it to do anything you want. Let's say you don't do any of that. Let's say you mainly edit videos on Adobe or you're making music on Ableton. You can use it to set hotkeys and shortcuts for those specific programs and it'll just help your workflow be a little bit quicker and faster. And at the very least, you can use it to turn your camera on and off on Zoom. So before we continue, the shout out winner from last week is Itsibs. So I'll link his channel down below. So this is kind of a thing that I'm doing on my videos. So I'm going to give you a word. So for this week, it can be macro. Start a comment with the word macro and then let me know. Are you thinking about picking this up? Are you, have you already picked one up? Let me know, start it with macro and I'll pick one of yours and I'll shout out your channel or I guess your Twitch, leave your Twitch name as well if you want and I'll shout one of yours out next week. It's just a little thank you for staying to this point in the video. So wrapping it up, should you buy the Elgato Stream Deck? Well for me personally, since I've got me 65% keyboard, I've just been running out of room for hotkeys and to be honest I'm just getting a little bit too lazy to remember them all. So this was exactly what I wanted. It's quick, it's easy, everything's there at the push of a button. This is exactly what I was after. So if you're after something similar, you've got too many hotkeys to remember, this could be for you. And if you don't think that you'll fill up those 15 keys, you could always go for the smaller option with just six, or if you're an absolute psychopath and you need a macro for everything in your life, the 32 key option is always available. I'll link all three sizes below, and I want you to let me know, have you seen any other creators out there who've set up any unique macros? Let me know, because I'm trying to get creative with this, and I'm kind of running out of ideas for macros for myself. So let me know down below. With that said though, that about wraps it up and I'm out. Make sure you get a macro to hit that like button and I'll see you next week.